Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, everybody. Wonderful day. It's a man. Today is a man. The day. The, the counting of the Omer. Right. We're on day 40. Mem, it's like a womb, it's like waters, and this whole week is a washing. It's a washing of the word. So we're gonna read a study that we got that John Flores sent us, and uh, I pray that you enjoy it. Covenant Guardian in Melchizedek Order. There has been much about the word lately in regards to Torah mitzvot. Mishpatim, who came to wrote Book of the Law and Book of the Covenant, priesthoods, patents, and positions. I am son of Aaron, and there is no greater position, even though the Lamb of Elohim has come to pay a price because of my sin. I am a Levite. I am a descendant of Aaron. I am a this. I am a that. Many <laughs> are demonstrating a guardian type attitude with which one of these to a certain degree and there is a type of DNA connecting aspect to some of these categories brothers and sisters there is only one way to prove identity and that is through scripture for Colossians 3 3 mm -hmm. for you have died and your life has been hidden with Messiah mm -hmm. in Yahuwah man our life is concealed in Mashiach, and if we want to discover what that life is supposed to look like, then we better go to Mashiach himself in order to do that. Okay. Many have come in off the highways and byways of the world and have gotten plugged into a religion or a religion or some sort of Christian denomination as <clears throat> the years go by that same individual has read a book or watched a DVD or even listened to mp3 <laughs> or CDs that some Hebraic root teacher has labored to put together the excitement has begun now <laughs> on a level like it never like never before you have not discovered who you are and the ones known Jesus Jesus <laughs> and now recognize Yahushua Hamashiach that you are Israel many pagan appendages and pagan practices are no are now are, well, now, are now removed and some have taken the time to fall along the way. Fall off. Fall, huh? And have have taken time to fall off along the way up the mountain of the voice. So much to get into, but I can't do that at this time. I would like to focus on something in regards to covenant and Yahuwah's claim so we okay we have seen through many teachings venues that ever since the fall of Adam and the woman she was called she wasn't she wasn't called Chava Eve until after the fall that we were in need of redemption a restoring back to fellowship with the name with the father Yahweh yod -Heh -Wah -Heh. we can tie in all of creation that yod -Heh -Wah -Heh Elohim is watching over his word to perform it damn this is one of my this is scripture this scripture is beautiful Jeremiah 1.1 1, 1. And the word of Yahuwah came to me, saying, What do you see, Yermiyahu? Mm -hmm. And I said, I see a branch of an almond tree. And Yahuwah said to me, You have seen well, for I am watching over my word to do it. Yeah. We see that Yahuwah's wa that Yahuwah watches over his the bar word to perform it. Yahuwah is a watcher of the word. 
Now there is a difference in meaning when it comes to the word word in English and to the multiple Hebrew words used for the word word. Yes, niece. Shalom. <laughs> There you go, hallelujah. Ah, the bar. Mm -hmm. The bar equals word. Bless it. Interesting, this word, the bar, is first used in Genesis 12, 4, and leading up to Genesis 15, 1, in regards to the revealing of the covenant when it comes to the foundation stone for the whole house of Israel. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Number two, there's amar equals say. Or word. Number three is Mila. A word or dialogue as found in Psalms 139.4. Just to point out to a few, with all these, we can trust that Yahuwah is faithful to all he says. We also have the mecha mechanics of his word as seen in Torah, Law, Instructions. Hmm. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. Right yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 139.4, I said? 139.4. Okay, for there is not a word found on my tongue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For there is not a word on my tongue, but see, oh Yahuwah, you know it all. There's not a mila on my tongue. Right, a conversation? Is that, so, I mean, I can be that. It's like saying I can uh, dialogue with you. Because you know it all? No, I'm saying that even though there's not a word on my tongue, mm -hmm. even though I don't have a uh, word on my tongue, he still knows it. Right? Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I get it. All these different categories are what make up the entirety of this beautiful body of scripture called Torah. Each has its own assignment and each is developed at this. different stages. Yeah. Now isn't the time to define each of these but we can be we can be sure that each is apl applicable mm. to our lives in one way or another. Also, not one can ever stand alone by itself and declare no need of the other. Not one can ever stand as its own type of book or doctrine or tr of choice without the other. These four major categories of Torah all work together like the four values of the four valves of our heart wow mm -hmm. and we're a body right all pumping the life into the body from a different angle and yet remaining connected to the whole <clears throat> it is very interesting that nowhere in scripture do we see Yahuwah Elohim or any writer claiming that Yahuwah Elohim is the guardian of any of these categories. Hmm. I will keep this short, only to strike open door for a thought. Let's, let's see what happens here. <laughs> In Deuteronomy, we have Moshe given his last word to the final generation. Who will enter the promised land of inheritance in this final word of Moshe in chapter 7 he declares something that is spoken to the last generation just before entering the inheritance Deuteronomy 7 9 Deuteronomy 7 9 all right and you shall Know that Yahuwah, your Elohim, He is Elohim, the trustworthy El, guarding covenant and kindness for a thousand generations with those who love Him and who those who guard His commands. Here we go. Now we, now we must real must really internalize this amazing word spoken by Moshe. Guarding covenant and keeping kindness. Shomer, Shomer Habrit Ba Ha Chesed. Mm -hmm. Check that out. Shomer. 
Right there. You see that? Right there somewhere. You see that? Right there. Yeah. Somewhere. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that word, somewhere. Guarding to guard to ching. So what we just read is guarding the covenant and the compassion. Wow. Oh. Elohim is guarding is the is guardian of the covenant. Not a covenant like a salt or shoe covenant, mm -hmm. but the the covenant. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Here we have a strong admon admonishing to the last and final generation who would enter the long-awaited inheritance and fulfillment of the covenant made with Abraham back in Genesis 15. Wow, and the compassion. Yeah. That's beautiful. Compassion. Isn't that like kind of what the what I was talking about these last days? All right. For my, in my mind, I was talking about you guys. Yes. <laughs> Jeremiah one five, and I said, I beseech you, Yahuwah. Yeah, Yahuwah Elohim of heaven, the great and awesome El, keeping the covenant and mercy to those mm -hmm. loving him and yeah. to keep and to keepers of his commandments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Want me to read it? No, I'm not going to. Oh, the difference between it's, what is that one? Keeping the covenant and mercy? Is it exactly the same? No, there's no, a difference right there. The Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It might be. Can this do that, or is it just me? Right? Oh, right there. Uh, just hold it. Yeah, hold it. Hold it. So those in the Hebrew, right? It means that instead. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna read it right now, but you could pause oh, yeah. it and check out each letter, write it out. You know. It means guarding the covenant and compassion, mm -hmm. and the compassion. And you got this from Deuteronomy 7 9. Hell, guarding covenant and kindness. That's how it is written. Shamar, Habrit, Baha, Hesed. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's in Deuteronomy 7 9. 7 9. And then we see it also in Nehemiah 1 5. Keeping the covenant and mercy. Mm -hmm. Okay? Shamar, Habrit. Uh, Notice that? And then mercy is, look at that. Ooh, mm. uh. <laughs> Chesed. Right? Or Chesed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this All one right. has a ha. Right. Ah, very interesting, very interesting. Yeah, this one has the, the kindness, mm. the, or the, the covenant, or the, uh, the compassion. compassion. This has the just mercy. Mercy. Okay. So, all right. Very interesting because these are two words are so amazing. Yes, we have to get understanding in this, so we're going over it. Right. In the midst of a powerful prayer by Nehemiah, says this, which is connected to Deuteronomy seven nine. We go from the last generation into Deuteronomy seven nine, mm. given this word to the generation that is called to rebuild and bring back the worship into this temple. Mm. We know that was historical for a physical rebuilding of the walls of mm. Jerusalem. The walls have been broken down by Babylonian and pagan. It's the hay that's missing. Yeah. yeah. Ha. That's why I said the uh, compassion. Yeah. That's just mercy. Yeah. It's connected. So, the walls have been broken down by the Babylonians and pagan. Ah. Insurrection. <coughs> Insurrection. And now, a new order is rising up, which will reflect this historical declaration and action seen with Moshe's word and Nehemiah's word. Notice the first. Did you tell me that was from Nehemiah? The yeah. last time. Uh, never mind. Well, okay. Uh, notice the first Hebrew letter letters of. Show Meir Habrit Shin He Vav Shehu He is Lamb. So say the first letters from Show Meir Habrit, what we read was Shin He Vav, which means Shehu, right? Shehu. And that Shehu. means 
He is the Lamb. He, he is the Lamb. Wow, He is the Lamb guarding the covenant which carries away the sin of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Man, that's that's a, a big hallelujah right there, brothers and sisters. A big one. A big, 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 big. Notice the words we have are the same with one slight transition. The Hebrew letter, hey, Sam, that's what we were talking before, which is not in the Nehemiah phrase. We go from the compassion to compassion. We go from the compassion the to compassion. the compassion to compassion, right? Just like Bernie said. The people have now become the kingdom of compassion. Mm -hmm. As they make their journey from the fields, worship is restored, the walls rebuilt, and the declaration of Yahuwah Elohim becomes a standing reality. He is the guardian of the covenant, and this covenant is that which is presented in Melchizedek order, the covenant. The people, the voice, the land, the priesthood of our Kohen Haggadol, High Priest, Yahuwah, Yahushua HaMashiach, all revealed as one. He is the Lamb who is the, the guardian of the covenant and the compassion. Wow. Beautiful. Matthew 9.35-38 And Yahushua went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their mm -hmm. congregation, and proclaiming the good news of the reign kingdom, and healing every disease and every bodily weakness among the people. Mm -hmm. And having seen the crowds, he was moved with compassion <coughs> for them, because they were weary and scattered, as sheep... I mean, no shepherd. See, we see right there. We see lamb, we see sheep, we see compassion. Then he said to his taught ones, The harvest truly is great, but the workers are few. Pray then that the master of the harvest would send out workers to his harvest. Come on. The above verses are filled with revelation. Notice how the power of compassion is capable of moving Yahushua into a place that his kingdom is demonstrated. Through the power of physical healing in the areas of the body that parallel Israel's spiritual and physical state. What we have here is the proclamation of the kingdom in 35b and then in 35c we have the demonstration of the proclamation. In 36a we have a powerful revelation of compassion moving Yahushua HaMashiach. There is compassion above that desires to touch us down here. And then there is the compassion from above that is manifested down here through the word made flesh. Yeah. Okay, brothers and sisters. Huh. Okay, people <clears throat> of compassion are kingdom people. That's right. Love it. Now, looking at this revelation seen with the initial Hebrew letters of this phrase, which is Shin Hey Vav, and there's dots on them. <laughs> All right. So he is the Lamb. Also has a numerical connection. I want to drop in here which goes back to Eden which is only seen through the numbers <clears throat> so Shin Hei Bob right is that Shu which was it alright Sehu okay Sehu so uh, from the first Hebrew letters of the phrase above we see uh this you gotta see this right wow so this right here okay almost done just gotta show them you guys can freeze it and read it yourself all right we're done <laughs> all right so so yeah you know there's a 
which is spelled he is the lamb um at, has the numerical connection to two other hebrew words that point to hamashiach's desire to marry the bride of israel the numerical connection is 311 which happens to be the value of two joint hebrew words Sh olive yod shin ish husband found in genesis 2 24 speaking of adam it's yahashua yahushua the last adam isn't yahushua the oh last isn't one. okay should have read this and then um so we see what is there very cool all right so now we see uh hey olive sheen hey ha isha <clears throat> the woman bride found in genesis 3 1 israel the bride of yahuwah Ezekiel 16, 8 through 14, Jeremiah 31, 32, Isaiah 54, 5, Hosea 2, 7, John 3, 29, Matthew 9, 15, Mark 2, 19 through 20, and Revelation 19, 7 through 9, 21, 2, and 22, 17. Just some thoughts providing a brief insight you can add to. All right. To, all right. Enjoy. I mean, so brothers and sisters, that was a study that, that John sent us, and we are just so grateful. So what, what do we see here, Bernie? Give us the overview. The Yahushua is the word, mm -hmm. and Yahushua is guarding the word. And Yahushua is guarding us, and he's the Lamb. Yahuwah is the Lamb. Yeah, and the kingdom people have to have mercy to each other. Not come. All right, later on, bro. Not, not, not like discarding his word. We have compassion through his word with each other. You know, that's how we become priests when we when we begin to guard Shamar and uh, his word. You know, his covenant word that he that is so amazing so i know we're none of none of us are perfect not none none of me that's perfect right but but because we um help each other out and have compassion on each other we become kingdom people and we shamar his word that's just so beautiful i love that i could say that all i could say that more times but you get the picture yeah bless you and keep you all right so enjoy um, today the men in the canon of the Omer 40 and uh, this whole this whole ten, 10 days from now it'll be Shavuot Pentecost right the, so it's gonna be amazing and yeah help us cleanse cleanse us with the final washing of the water of the word Speak into our lives in Yahuwah Yahushua HaMashiach. So when your anointing comes on your people, we'll be transformed. Aman! Incorruptible, incorruptible, incorruptible.